In its most primary form, the street is a line that connects people to places. Our Ordinary Streets project starts from this base of connection, exploring the dense intersections of global and city ties. Here is a convergence of diverse people, objects and ideas. On a half-mile stretch of street in Peckham, South London, we find proprietors with over 20 different countries of origin, while behind the street, a hinterland of hipsters and artists shape additional creative cultures. Together, this cultural and economic diversity forms a crossover of expression and exchange. Streets like Rye Lane are ordinary in that they are encrusted edges of life and livelihood within less affluent, ethnically diverse parts of cities. Their commonplace atmosphere allows these streets to operate with an everyday logic, generating values that many people don't normally see. We began with the question of how ordinary streets adapt to urban change. We were interested in day-to-day -day processes of adaptation and whether, in its diverse composition, distinctive spaces and economies were emerging on Rye Lane. Many of the shops practice what we call urban mutualism, where a single shop is subdivided into several smaller but compatible spaces. These subdivisions emerge out of retail habits brought from streets and markets across the planet. The smallest units of space are taken up by those offering hair and nail services. Chairs are let out at between 50 to 80 pounds per week. While mobile phone stores, frequently only as large as a table, command rental values per square meter that are amongst the highest in London. As a linear combination of small and large floor plates, Rye Lane functions as an urban stepping stone, providing flexible space with the capacity to grow and transform over time. I came in here about more than 15 years ago. As I grew up in retail business from my family, but I found one place in Ryland, just opposite my shop now. As a as a small table, you can say one meter or one and a half meter. So from that table, well, I started because that's the only thing I knew how to how to run. It, I worked long hours as well. That time I worked no holiday, seven days a week, and it worked very well for me. As uh, within. I think within six months or eight months, I managed to to ask the landlord to give me some more space, and I managed to have within within three years the whole building. In contrast to these incremental patterns of adaptation on Rye Lane, two external forces of change affect the transformation of the street. First is the impact of the global financial crisis resonating across the city and translating into new forms of retail practices on Rye Lane, signalled by the emergence of bars, galleries and a thriving nighttime economy. In parallel, planning authorities are engaged in a regeneration exercise incorporating Rye Lane and the Peckham Town Centre. The area is experiencing substantial increases in land values and an array of speculators, politicians, planning and design professionals seek to intervene in the changing composition of the street. The street is a loose cohesion of spaces and actors, each part adapting to change. It intersects an array of creative practices, but their flexibility and diversity are not always legible to those driving regeneration.
During accelerated periods of change, there are often significant gaps between measures of value and vocabularies of who counts or what matters. Change on the street is fast and is running ahead of large and unwieldy bureaucracies who are slow to respond. I have dedicated myself because it's, 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 for, a, it's, for, a, it's for a higher and a deeper and a wider cause than simply working on infrastructure, physical infrastructure in Peckham. It's because I passionately believe that the human race actually needs a different way of organising itself at, at neighbourhood level, which works differently with the policy makers. We need a different way of doing it. We've got a huge, dreadful disconnect between people in their ordinary lives and the people who take policy decisions in the professional, technical, managerial world. In contested regeneration processes, platforms of civility arise on the street and shared processes of learning and convening develop. Trade association, uh, from that very beginning, I was wondering where do we have an association around Peckham? Because we had no voice, no one could hear us. And since then we managed to have the association. I invited everyone and I explained to them, look, this is very important. No one would hear us. If we have any problem, serious or small, no one would take care if we don't take care ourselves. There is a lady opposite McDonald. She's selling greeting cards. And in the whole year, the busiest day is one or two days before Christmas. The stall is belong to the council. They rented to that lady for about almost more than 10 years. Last year, they said to her that on the Sunday before Christmas, we will, we will hire this place to, the, to one of the market holders. And uh, even she... Uh, email to the counsellor, the counsellor come back with the email say that I cannot help you. We sent one email to the council. One email was enough and they came back to her and said you can have your place. This is a small example of being together. Ordinary streets are public spaces still available to those who are increasingly excluded from the prestigious public realm. Within its everyday dimensions, the street provides space for economic, social and cultural experimentation. This allows for dynamic and unpredictable processes of renewal, where existing spaces are enlivened with new ideas and overlapping practices. So uh, I, I am an artist and a musician and and both those things. Um, just the atmosphere in here was amazing. I saw this bar and was just like you know, it's like walking into a different era. I just like totally fell in love with it. And uh, seeing live music here, just, it was like an awakening. It's like the potentials here for an orchestra is perfect. So I started coming here, drinking and hanging out. And um, when I was confident enough to kind of bring my idea for an orchestra in Peckham to life, I knew that here was where I'd want to do that. But also, I'd never conducted, so we were all in it together. We were all a bit like, what is this thing? What's going on? I was quite like nervous and open about the fact that like, I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just going to do my best, and it was enough. Ordinary streets are spaces of contact, and contact refines our capacities to socialise, to experiment and to participate. Recognising the values of the street and engaging with the everyday voices integral to city making provides a view of diversity as crucial to urban vitality. <laughs>